are the Detroit Lions add more veteran players via free agency and a guy that was just cut, a corner, Kendall Vildor. Now, we signed Bruce Irvin, Michael Schofield. Maybe you didn't realize that. And then Kendall Vildor. So we did a video on Bruce Irvin. He's kind of the headliner of this defensive end, uh, 13 year old, 13 year veteran. He's not 13 years old. That'd be bad. He wouldn't be very good in the NFL game. Uh, so Bruce Irvin headlines it, but Kendall Vildor. And now it's interesting because these players have had a two, combined 265 games of NFL experience at the thinnest positions on the roster. So we knew going in to the trade deadline, defensive end corner, right? Well, come on, come on, come on. Well, we don't trade for anybody of really significance, but there's been some guys cut and some opportunities for, for these dudes. So let's take a look at Kendall Vildor. And he was drafted by the Chicago Bears in the fifth round. In 2020 and 2021, he played a little bit. And actually in 20. 20 yeah in 2020 he played in all 16 games mostly special teams but played quite a bit had 17 tackles um and then in 2021 he played in all 17 games went into a 17 game season and had 46 tackles had some pass defenses had an interception off Kirk Cousins so the guys played some meaningful thing meaningful games and then the following year he was cut immediately claimed by the Tennessee Titans in 23 cut there goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. This was just this year. I, I'm reading this now. So it's like, wow. So he was with the Titans through training camp, makes the team, then gets cut, picks up immediately by the Philadelphia Eagles, was there for about four weeks, and then cut again and picked up immediately by the Detroit Lions. So there's something there. Obviously, this is not like a star player, but I, I if you look at the depth chart, you can see why we're doing this. It for me, it always it goes all the way back to um, where is he? Where is he? Will Harris? We can't have Will Harris at corner at at any at any time. So if Cameron Sutton or Jerry Jacobs gets hurt, Chase Lucas, they do not play him. I don't know why. I'd I'd love to see Chase Lucas. He does great on special teams. Khalil Dorsey, same thing. These guys are really good. Emmanuel Mosley, we know about him. IR C.J. Gardner Johnson, IR. If female and fond will cut him along with the acquire brothers because they haven't been on the field for anything. But now that leaves you with Will Harris. And you also you you saw Brian Branch went to corner when Jerry Jacobs went out um, of the game against the Chargers for a couple snaps. They're like, you know what, Brian Branch rookie. We'll, we'll put you out there at corner rather than Will Harris. And I don't mean Will Harris. Maybe he saw the field. I don't know. But we can't have Will Harris on the field. Um, he can be special teams, but he can be a depth emergency guy, I guess. But that's an area we have. We just got to stay away from. And we were going to with CJ Gardner Johnson, Emmanuel Mosley, right? We were going to be able to avoid having Will Harris in the game, but now it's, it's getting more difficult. So what do you have to do? You have to get Kendall Vildor in there and, and he's 25 years old. He's only been in the league for four years. So he's a veteran, but he's still kind of young and there could be something there with, with uh kindle kindle what a game what a name okay let's take a look at this um it we went into it a little bit more the lions uh hold on here we go Irvin. no vildor 25 made 22 starts in his first three nfl seasons and appeared in two games as a backup with the titans this week adds depth to a secondary that lost emmanuel mosley cj gardner johnson just what we were talking about so he's made starts and he's played a lot of special teams. And in 2020 and 2021, he played in every single game. So, I mean, it's not like it's not like he's terrible. So love to see what what he could provide in, in something there, because the Lions have an opportunity. To do something and they're already doing it right. They're seven and two leading the division. Offense is really good. Defense is either hot or ice cold. But there's there's got to be some more. There's got to be something you can do. And, and the only thing you can do since we missed the trade deadline was add some of these guys to the practice squad. A defensive end and corner. That's the two main positions that we absolutely need to do something, find something, need some depth, need a spark, need something. Defensive end, especially. We, we did a video about that yesterday. But corner is another one where it would just be nice not to worry about uh one of our starting corners going down because we just don't have anybody behind them. So this guy has played, 
he's played enough games that something could be there. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. And it all really comes down to the defense here as we hit this stretch run, see what they can do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one.